Welcome to dealing with materials data. In this uh, course, we are going to learn about uh, collecting, analyzing and interpreting materials data. Uh, this is the first module, this is an introduction to R uh, module. So, in this module we are learning how to uh, use R for uh, data analysis and interpretation. Uh, some, some preliminaries of the R programming language. We are going to learn more about uh, the data analysis and interpretation parts as we move along in this course. Uh, so this is the last session of this module. So this is a summary session and um, so if you look at a book like R for Beginners by Emmanuel Paradis, uh, there are about uh, 5 sections in the book. The first one is getting started, the second is called uh, data, how to read data, how to generate data, how to save data and how to manipulate data. Third one is uh, plotting, how to as well as some packages, uh, for example we have used ggplot2. Fourth is statistical analysis and that will be covered in uh, great detail uh, with specific reference to materials data in the rest of this course. And the fifth is related to programming. So R is both a software and a programming language and like I said we are giving just a tutorial introduction to R. Uh, we are not going to cover uh, lots of programming aspects, but I do believe that this course will prepare you for programming and if you are so inclined then this should be a nice starting point uh, for you to start. So, if you look at the, the material that we have gone through, of course, uh, we have learned how to get started with R. Uh, we have also seen how to read or generate and save or manipulate data and we have looked at uh, plotting in, in a little bit of a detail and uh, statistical analysis is something that we have not started, but the very next module we are going to start for example is on descriptive um, data analysis. And so, but there are some more aspects that has been left out and uh, so I am just going to mention them here and I uh, uh, recommend that you read more about this uh, with the available material online. So R works with objects as you have noticed and each of these objects have a name and content. For example, when we have this uh, variable name element or x. And it has some content, so it is 15 observations and 4 variables etc. So, and the objects have intrinsic attributes like the length and mode. So, if you, you can ask for length of an object and it will tell you what is its size. And the mode is like whether it is numeric or character or complex or it is a logical like true false etc. So, and of course, you can use both the mode and the length commands to probe the intrinsic attributes of any given object. And objects representing data can be of many different types, vector, factor, array, matrix, data frame, etc. We have seen tables and matrices and uh, data frames, etc. Uh, so, so there could be uh, much more detailed information and this might become very important if you get into R programming. And uh, reading data we have used read.csv, uh, but it is also possible to use read.table and scan to read data from text files. So this might become important in some cases, so, so you can learn about them. And similarly you can use write.table to write data for example. Okay. So, uh, to move forward, we are not going to spend too much of time doing these other aspects. So, this introduction to R is a very, very tutorial introduction. So, it is more focused towards what we want to do uh, for the rest of the course. So, sometimes uh, uh, all the details are not given and uh, also when you are programming, uh, there is not just one way of doing things, there could be more than one way of doing things. And there could be gradation among these different ways of doing things, maybe some are more um, efficient computationally or more optimal uh, than others. So those aspects uh, we have really not looked into. So sometimes we have done very circuitous things, uh, maybe, um, maybe because uh, that is just the, um, the one way of doing it or, or uh, just um, straightforward way of doing it, uh, maybe there are better ways of doing it. 
So, so all these aspects we have not discussed and uh, however there are several references that I have given uh, so far and I want to add uh, this uh, Paradise book introduction to R also uh, because it is a very short uh, book uh, running into less than 100 pages but it uh, discusses all these 5 aspects uh, like I mentioned earlier and so it can add uh, to what you have already learnt and it can prepare you for uh, programming in R if you are so inclined. Uh, but we will continue with our uh, tutorial mode and uh, we will uh, start using R for doing um, some uh, statistics and uh, data analysis uh, for the rest of this course. So thank you. <laughs>